So let's have a look here. So here we are trying to do analysis on big data analytic capabilities. So we have three criteria, three main big data analytic capabilities. One is infrastructure flexibility, one is management capabilities, one is personal expertise. And we want to see how they affect a company's economic, social, and financial performance. So each of them has some sub-criteria. So infrastructure flexibility, it has some sub-criteria which we can see here in this sheet here. It has three sub-criteria, okay? Then this one, management capabilities, it has four sub-criteria, we can see here. Okay, and then the personal expertise, it also has four sub-criteria. So it will be technological, not technical. So here you see what we did. We actually have done the analysis for the first, uh, for the criteria, all the three criteria. We, we did the pairs comparison for the criteria. Then for the first sub-criteria level of the infrastructure, infrastructure flexibility, we did the analysis. Then for the management capabilities, we did the same analysis again and then for the sub-criteria of uh, personal knowledge, we did the same analysis again. Okay. So here uh, you see that uh, we did this thing exactly following the same procedure as we did in the previous videos. For the only difference we have is that we have multiple sheets, okay, for the criteria and sub -criteria. And then for priority calculation, if you look here, what we did is that, okay, uh, all the respondents, they respond for our alternatives under each of the sub -criteria, okay? And here, what do we do actually? We calculate the global weights for the subcategoria. How we do that? We multiply the weight. We multiply the weight of the criteria with all its subcategoria. For example, this one. So if you look here, you see that we multiply the C3, B18 with SC1. SC1 is here. So C3 is here, SC1 is here with uh, C18 once again, okay? So let's have a look, what do we have in these cells? So here we have C18, this is what we have. So this is the weight for infrastructural flexibility and we will multiply this value with all the sub of infrastructural flexibility. So all these in values of infrastructural flexibility will be multiplied with that value. That is 0 0.28, okay? All of them are multiplied with 0 0.28. And that's what we get here, the first three of them, okay? Just to show you, you see all of them are multiplied with C3, B18, okay, the same value, okay, the same value. Then for planning, which comes under the managerial expertise, isn't it? Yes, managerial capabilities. So it will be multiplied with this one. What is the cell here? It's C18. So all the sub of all the sub from here of managerial expertise, managerial capabilities will be multiplied with one value from here, this one, okay? And that's what we see here. So if you look, C18 is multiplied with C19 from this sheet, okay? And then it has four sub criteria, all of them are multiplied the same way, okay, as you can see. And then the technical knowledge and these knowledges, they are also multiplied the same way. So again, from C3, C3 this one, the, the, the personal expertise. This criteria will be multiplied with all the sub-criteria of this criteria to get the global priority, the, the global weights. And that's what we did here, as you can see, okay? And then what we did, if you see here, we did the normalization of these scores, which you can see here, we just divided all the values with the maximum value so we normalized all the values. And then for the final priority calculation, we multiplied this normalized scores with the global weight, all of them. Okay, so that's what we did. With the, with the global weight of the sub criteria, we multiplied their normalized scores. We did exactly this thing for all of them. And then in the end here, we took the sum of it. You can take the sum or you can take the average. It doesn't matter. You will get the same result. So here, from here, what we see is that in and overall, this one is the highest. So that means big data analytic capabilities affects the social performance of the company the most. It is based on only one respondent data. So in our paper, actually, we will collect data from many respondents when we will do aggregation of these uh, values as well. We will take the uh, arithmetic mean or geometric mean of these values and we will see uh, on aggregate level. 
for this only one respondent, we can see that big data analytic capabilities affects the social performance the most, okay? And then it affects the environmental and then the economic performance, okay? And we can also see the ranking on, on criteria level. For instance, for control, we see that these two has the same level, okay? E control will affect both economic and social the same way. Here for decision making, here you see it will affect economic and environmental the same way. For planning, it will have the highest effect on social performance. Uh, likewise, we can we can see that we can analyze we can we can also interpret the effects of uh, each of the sub criteria on these economic, social, and uh, environmental performances. And sometimes it is a good idea to make a figure like this uh, below this. Uh, we just made it ourselves. Okay. This priority sheet, actually, we made the whole sheet ourselves, okay? It was not part of the BWM solver. So based on your, if you have some alternatives or something like that, you should make this yourself. And here, yeah, it's a good idea to have a figure like this so that we can quickly see. For instance, technical knowledge will have the highest effect based on this one respondent on social performance. And overall, we can see the rankings here. Yeah. Connectivity has the highest effect on economic performance. So that's it actually. So I hope this helps you. You can now do EWM analysis, which consists of some criteria and some sub criteria. Even it could, we here we showed like only three criteria with uh, three groups of sub criteria, but it could be many more uh, in your case as well. But, the, but remember the survey will be much more longer and complex. So that's up to you how you want to do the analysis. Okay. And if you like the video, please share with your friends and colleagues. Yeah.